uh, negotiating opportunity I had was was trying to get Shirley to, to how am I going to make this a win-win? Okay, Shirley, we have to put off our spa day because Tim Martin has asked us to come and make a presentation, but uh, only because it's Tim. Tim's the only reason. You know, negotiation is is a, a science, uh, n much more than an art, but it's a science with not a whole lot of rules, and there are a lot of different theories about negotiations. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of them today. What are some of the situations that you negotiate in? Certainly with projects. How many of us look forward to getting to that opportunity when we can negotiate with a project? How about our job status? How many of us have had to negotiate to keep our job, to get a raise, to not get cut, to add people? A lot of different things. Well, how about uh, those other things? <laughs> and then. <laughs> What are some attitudes of a power negotiator? Competitive series, do you love to get in there and go head to head with somebody to negotiate uh, for your community? Do you love the deal? Do you put off sleep or eating? Not, eat, not much. Do you put that all off to, to uh, Tim, let's go back here one. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. What do you want to go back to? That's one right here. But anyway, do you just love the deal? You love the opportunity to get there to make a deal. I got an uh, uh, email just a little while ago that we've made the short list on a project. Yeah, you know, that can uh, almost make, I hope Shirley is excited about it as I am. But anyway, do you love to live with ambiguity? Did they understand what I was saying? Did they get it? You know, did I say it correctly? This last one, I don't know, the, the strong, uh, no strong need to be liked. We all want to be liked. We all want to be liked. Okay, what are some personal characteristics? The, can you outlast your negotiator? We had some uh, negotiations with the Koreans on Kumo Tire. We would start at 10 in the morning. At, 10, at 6 o'clock at night, I'm looking at the traffic in Atlanta, and I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be over. And then the pizza guy comes and delivers pizza, and you go, oh, man, here we are. So we went through that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you have the courage to ask for more? Okay, they, they make a concession. Do you just cave and give, or do you say, do you ask for some more? Are you a good listener? How many of us know people that talk through a sale, that would rather talk and hear themselves talk, in other words, instead of listening to what the, the, the customer is saying and finding out what they need and what their requirements are? And do you have the integrity to press for the win-win? If you know your, your offer is the best, do you have that integrity to keep pressing to get, that, to get that sale, to make the deal? Okay, let the other side be the first to commit. Don't come, everybody's seen the Seinfeld episode where Kramer uh, spills coffee on, him, on himself going through a drive through window. They get an attorney, they're negotiating with the, uh, with the company. The company says, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give them free coffee for a year. We're going to give him free coffee for a year and $50,000. So Kramer and his attorney are there in the office and the, and the company says, okay, we'll give you free coffee. Kramer's off the couch, shakes hands, it's a deal. Let them commit first. Kramer missed that. The contract, write the contract yourself and read it. How many times have you found stuff that was in there or should have been in there and wasn't in there? If you've got more options, than the other person, you've got a better chance of winning. Um, and if you've got something that they want, we all know you've got a better chance of winning also. Let's skip down to the last one. Always congratulate, always. Once you win a deal or lose a deal, always congratulate. The 80-20 rule happens in negotiations just like it happens in life. The majority of the work is done in the last 20% of the time available. But never say you've got a deadline. Never tell the enemy, is Jim Steed still here? <laughs> never tell the enemy when you're going to leave. Why, why would you do that? Never tell the client that, hey, I've got to get this thing done by Tuesday at noon. The longer you spend, the more chances you're going to have to give something up. We all have been there. And hey, and don't worry. Forget what you've already got invested in the project, invested in the land. If it's a good deal, go ahead and do it. You know, economic developers, sometimes we get confused that we think we're in the real estate business 
when we're really in the jobs business. So we need to keep that attitude. Knowledge is power. If you, the more you know about the company and, and, know, uh, and about what they're looking for and what you've got to offer, you're in a better situation. Somebody said it earlier. If you don't know, say you don't know, but get back with the information. Um, never think you've got the upper hand because if you think you've got the upper hand, you'll forget something. Be prepared to walk away. We were negotiating with Bass Pro Shop and we had a partner in there with us negotiating. Halfway through it, he gets up and says, well, it looks like we don't have a deal. And he's walking away and I'm sitting there going, <laughs> man. But uh, anyway, it turned out, for, turned out fine. And again, congratulate the other party and thank them for what they've done. Um, ask for more than you expect. We all know that. You know, start out by asking for up here, maybe you'll get here. Never say yes on the first offer. Then that causes them to think, well, maybe there's more out there. And don't you make the first offer. Flinch at proposals. You know, facial expressions are, are good. Again, this last one I'm not even going to read. We all know that. And there's one more thing. When you ask that final question, the ask for the order question, Shut up. <laughs> How many people feel uncomfortable with a silence like that? But when you ask for the order, shut up. Thank you. Thank you.